Ever wondered what Python libraries are and why they are important? Let's unpack that. In the realm of Python programming, libraries are like your secret toolbox, brimming with pre-written code. They save you the hassle of reinventing the wheel every time you need to perform a specific task, from data analysis to web scraping and beyond. They are crucial for any Python programmer, beginner or pro, to make their coding journey smoother and more efficient. Throughout this video, we'll venture into the vast landscape of Python libraries, exploring a variety of them. We'll delve into the numerical computations with NumPy, data manipulation with Pandas, visualizations with Matplotlib, and even machine learning with Scikit-learn. Each library with its unique capabilities will open up new avenues for your coding projects. So, ready to dive into the world of Python libraries? Let's go! First up, we have NumPy, a powerful library for numerical operations. NumPy, short for Numerical Python, is like the backbone of Python's data science ecosystem. It's the library that sets Python apart from other programming languages when dealing with numerical data. But what does NumPy do that's so special, you may wonder? Well, think about dealing with large amounts of data, especially multi-dimensional arrays or matrices. These are not just your everyday spreadsheets, but they can be massive structures with millions if not billions of data points. Python's built-in data types like lists and tuples can't handle this kind of data effectively. And that's where NumPy comes in. NumPy is designed specifically to handle large, multi-dimensional arrays and matrices. It provides a high-performance, convenient interface for operations on these data structures. Whether it's basic mathematical operations like addition and multiplication, or more complex ones like Fourier transform and sorting, NumPy has got you covered. But the power of NumPy doesn't stop there. It also provides a host of functions to generate random numbers, to perform statistical analysis, and even to shape, resize, and stack arrays. NumPy's functionality is so extensive it's like the Swiss Army knife of numerical operations in Python. And the best part? All of this comes with high performance. NumPy's operations are implemented in C, a lower level language than Python, which makes them much faster than if you were to implement them in Python itself. This speed is crucial when dealing with large amounts of data, where every millisecond counts. Moreover, NumPy also integrates seamlessly with other Python libraries like Pandas and Matplotlib, which we'll explore in the next scenes. This means you can easily pass data between these libraries, making your data science workflow smooth and efficient. So whether you're crunching numbers for a small project or building a complex machine learning model, NumPy is your go-to library for numerical operations. It offers convenience, performance, and an extensive array of functions to handle all your numerical needs. Indeed, when it comes to numerical operations, NumPy is your go-to Python library. Next, let's explore Pandas, a library that makes data manipulation a breeze. Pandas, like its namesake, the giant panda, is a creature of immense power and versatility when it comes to the world of data manipulation. Pandas is a high-level data manipulation tool developed by Wes McKinney. It's built on the NumPy package and its key data structure is called the data frame. Data frames allow you to store and manipulate tabular data in rows of observations and columns of variables. If you're familiar with spreadsheets, you'll find this concept very familiar. But what exactly can you do with pandas? Well, the possibilities are almost endless. You can do anything from data cleaning to transformation, and even analysis. It's like having a data science Swiss Army knife at your disposal. Data cleaning, for instance, is a breeze with pandas. It offers numerous ways to filter out unnecessary information, handle missing data, and even rename and change data types. It's like having a little data janitor who's always ready to tidy up your data sets. Then, there's data transformation. With pandas, you can easily reshape, pivot, or transpose your data sets, merge data and perform aggregations. And when it comes to analysis, pandas provides functionalities for statistical and mathematical operations. But the benefits of pandas extend beyond its functionalities. One of these benefits is its simplicity. With an expressive, readable syntax, pandas makes data manipulation easy to write and understand. It's like having a conversation with your data. And let's not forget about its powerful data structures. With Pandas, you can handle and manipulate data of varying sizes and complexity. From small simple datasets to large complex ones, Pandas can handle them all with grace and efficiency. So, if you're diving into data manipulation, there's no better companion than Pandas. It's like having a powerful, versatile and friendly Panda right by your side, ready to help you tackle any data task that comes your way. So, for all your data manipulation needs, remember to use Pandas. Moving on to Matplotlib. 
the perfect library for data visualization. This Python library is a powerhouse tool that lets you generate a multitude of graphs, plots, and charts with just a few lines of code. It's like the paintbrush for your data, transforming rows and columns into vibrant visuals that tell a story. So, why do we love Matplotlib? Well, it's all about its flexibility and extensive customization options. With this library, you're not just stuck with bar and line graphs. Oh no, it's a whole lot more. You can create histograms, scatter plots, 3D plots, and even geographical maps. Whether you're working with a small data set or grappling with large-scale data, Matplotlib has got you covered. But that's not all. What makes Matplotlib a favorite among data scientists and analysts is its ability to customize every little detail. Want to change the color of your bars? Easy. Need to add a grid for better readability? No problem. Want to include labels, legends, or a fancy title? Matplotlib lets you do it all. Now let's talk benefits. One of the major advantages of using Matplotlib is its integration with other Python libraries. So if you're using NumPy for numerical computations or Pandas for data manipulation, you can easily feed your results into Matplotlib for visualization. It's like a well-oiled machine where each part works seamlessly with the others. Moreover, Matplotlib's visuals aren't just for show. They help you understand trends, patterns, and correlations in your data. So whether you're presenting your findings to a client or trying to make sense of a complex data set, Matplotlib's visuals can bring clarity and insight. In conclusion, Matplotlib is more than just a tool for data visualization. It's a vital part of the data analysis process, turning raw data into meaningful visuals and making complex information digestible. With Matplotlib, making your data visually appealing is a piece of cake. And finally, we have Scikit-Learn, the library of choice for machine learning. This powerful Python tool is the go-to resource for anyone looking to delve into the world of machine learning. It's like having a personal assistant that's well-versed in the complexities of data science. But what exactly does Scikit-Learn bring to the table? Firstly, it offers a host of machine learning algorithms, neatly packaged and ready to use. From regression, where we predict continuous outcomes, to classification, where we categorize data, Scikit-Learn has you covered. It's like a buffet of machine learning techniques, all there for you to feast on, but that's not all. Scikit-Learn is also a master of clustering, which is grouping similar data together. Imagine having a massive pile of puzzle pieces and needing to sort them into separate puzzles. Scikit-Learn is the tool that helps you do exactly that, but with data. And let's not forget model validation. This is where Scikit-Learn really shines. It provides tools to split your data, cross-validate it, and even score your model's performance. It's like having a personal trainer for your machine learning model, pushing it to its limits and ensuring it's the best it can be. So, what makes Scikit-Learn so popular? Well, it's not just about the tools it offers, it's also about its ease of use. With its consistent interface, you can switch between models with minimal code changes. Plus, it comes with comprehensive documentation, making it a great learning resource for both beginners and seasoned pros. But don't just take my word for it. Try it out for yourself. Dive into the world of machine learning with Scikit-Learn. You might be surprised at just how much you can achieve. For machine learning tasks, you can always rely on Scikit-Learn. So we've covered four powerful Python libraries today. Let's do a quick recap. We explored NumPy, the fundamental library for scientific computing, which provides a high-performance multi-dimensional array object and tools for working with these arrays. Then we delved into Pandas, a library providing high-performance, easy-to-use data structures and data analysis tools. It's excellent for manipulating and analyzing data, making it a favorite for data scientists. We also touched on Matplotlib, a plotting library used for creating static, animated, and interactive visualizations in Python. It's a crucial tool for data visualization. Finally, we discussed Scikit-Learn, a powerful machine learning library which provides simple and efficient tools for data mining and data analysis. Each of these libraries, with their unique features and capabilities, is a powerhouse in its own right. Together, they form a robust toolkit for anyone looking to harness the power of Python. Remember, Python libraries are essential tools that can make your coding life much easier. So keep exploring and happy coding!